Hey, what's up everyone? We are now in this last game for today, December 16, 2023. So we got like 10 games for today. Um, it's, a, it's been a long day. Um, and again, thank you for those who have been sending me uh, messages, um, Instagram, uh, Telegram, uh, Messenger, asking for um, uh, my father's uh, situation. Um, he's no longer in comatose, so thank you very much for those who have uh, you know, prayed, who have uh, sent some help. Um, but he's still in the hospital, and uh, you know, hopefully things will be better. And um, you know, praying for the best, of course, for him soon. All right, so let's take uh, this last game. Uh, this will be the New York Knicks going up against Los Angeles Clippers, and that will be at 10:30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's 11:30 a.m. here in Manila. And I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, As I Baller, please. Click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Approaching this game, the New York Knicks, they had got a record of 14 wins and 10 losses. And you know what? Uh, they have the same record with the Clips, 14 and 10. As we all know, we actually provide free uh, predictions right here in our YouTube channel, Passe Baller. But for those who would want to avail our premium picks or premium packages, you can actually reach us through Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, or even Messenger. Just check on the descriptions of our videos and you can see the details right there. Alright, the spread that is given, by the way, is minus 5.5 and that's given towards Los Angeles Clippers. The Los Angeles Clippers, they will be enjoying the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of momentum, we also got to, uh, both have been uh, winning lately, but we got to give it to Los Angeles Clippers because approaching this game, man, they are on a six-game winning streak. That's just crazy. I think that's the longest currently, right? Um, yep, that's the longest winning streak that we have at this point. Um, for their last 10 games, they have won eight. Well, the New York Knicks, just like what I said, uh, they are also coming off that win, a huge win against Phoenix last night. And for their last 10 games, they have won six. So they are also doing good. But again, we, if we got to pick one, definitely that has to be Los Angeles Clippers. Now, in terms of uh, moment, uh, in terms of fatigue, rather, we also got to give Los Angeles Clippers because the New York Knicks, they just played last night when they went up against Phoenix Suns um, right in front of uh, Suns' um, uh, home crowd. Okay, so let's take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams, okay? Uh, starting off with the New York Knicks, there's just one player who is out, and that's Mitchell Robinson, uh, the anchor of their defense. He is, he is out, uh, and he will be out for quite some time. Now, for Los Angeles Clippers... Uh, Clubly, Busha are both confirmed out. And Paul George is listed as questionable for this game. So two confirmed out for the Clips. And Paul George listed as uh, questionable or game time decision. So uh, if there's something that the New York Knicks would have an advantage on, that will be health. Because again, uh, only one is listed out for them. Well, the Clips... Two are confirmed, possibly three, depending on you know on what the situation of Paul George will be. Um, all right. So what makes this one is the uh, what you call this the the spread five point five. Clippers pretty much they have everything right. They are they are at home. They got the momentum, even though New York Knicks also got some momentum. Especially that Brunson just came off that career high that he had uh, last night. You know, when he was hitting those threes everywhere. Um, so definitely, the New York also has some momentum coming onto this game. Uh, plus the fact that uh, uh, the Clips, they are well-rested. <laughs> um, for some, it's not that much, but... For Los Angeles Clippers, that will be huge for them. You know, for those players who have had a lot of injuries of their career, just one day off, uh, just one day worth of rest is gonna be big time for them. But then I'm still, 
contemplating because looking at the New York Knicks, man, what they did was not easy. You know, they were down. They were down, and, and they were they, they were on the road when they when they did that against the Phoenix Suns, and Brunson just got just got hot, um, and then he got his career high. I'm not also I'm not of course I'm not expecting him to do another fifty point performance of this you know of this game, but I'm expecting him to be to to have some sort of uh, some sort of momentum carry over. Uh, carried over to this particular matchup, and I, I've seen some of uh, some of their uh, bench players. They are really well prepared, you know, just waiting for their minutes to be to be called. And when, whenever they are called, they are ready to play. I'm talking about quickly. I'm talking about grinds, you know. If, even those third unit that they have, whenever they are given like the last two minutes, they play that. They play those last two minutes like it's the first two minutes. So it's gonna be very tough uh, to you know to predict who's gonna cover the spread. Uh, the likelihood of Clippers winning the game is really high. Uh, I'm not gonna be surprised if it's gonna be Clippers taking home the W. But the spread, man, I think I'm gonna roll my dice uh, uh, with with the New York Knicks. I was talking to myself earlier. Maybe I'm picking the Knicks because I'm a Knicks fan. But nah, I mean, you can take a look at them. The confidence is oozing. And again, uh, that's that that has to be a huge morale builder when you guys defeated Phoenix Suns at you know on the road, and uh, plus the fact that uh, Brunson just had his uh, his career high. So I'm expecting something huge on this matchup, and I'm expecting uh, the New York Knicks to at least cover the spread. I'm not going to be surprised if the New York Knicks would, will win the game. I'm not going to expect that though, but. I'm expecting the Derek Knicks to at least cover it. So our pick would be Knicks plus 5.5. I'm expecting another great performance from both Brunson and Randall. Peace out. Pass I love and God bless.